Okay, so in this one, we are going to see how we can host React.js application using a panel. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. First thing first, we need a panel. So right now, as you can see, I am logged in inside the AN panel. Let's click on the website. But before creating the website, we need to make sure one more thing. Make sure that you have pointed your domain name to the uh, a panel's IP address. So this is my IP address for the a panel. So I'll be hosting my website on a subdomain called react.1yt.in. So let me just put IP address right here and click on save. So this is the uh, Cloudflare. So that's why there is a proxy option available. But if you are using like uh, GoDaddy or let's say Namecheap, the proxy option will be not available. Doesn't matter. Just add the name, a name record. So once that is done, click on the save and go back to the a panel so let's go back to the a panel here you can click on the add node project and uh, add node project but before that we need to make sure that we do two things first thing we need to add the node version so as you can see i click on this node version manager and i have node 20.11.1 install so if it is not installed on your side you can install it you can install multiple versions of versions of the node also so that one website can use node 20 another node 21 something like that for me i have already installed so i'll just skip this particular part right so next thing we need to do is we need to go to the file manager so let's click on the file manager right here and we need to create the website files folder right here so we as you can see we don't have folder here so let's click on the add directory or you can just right click click on new folder file and new folder paste right here the react sorry let me just type react.1yt.in okay so this is the website and once it is created click on the folder name sorry i went in the wrong folder click on the folder name and here we need to put our website files so for demonstration i have already created this sample which is react sample on my github i will provide link in the description otherwise you can go to the flux set github and it will show the files there so we need to just make sure that we download this using the zip so that we can upload that zip directly if you are on linux and pro user you can use the git also but let's stick to the beginner okay so here come back to the a panel click on the upload click on the file this is the react sample let's open it and let's upload it right so let's wait for some time as you can see it's done so let me just uh, click right click on it and unzip it so i'll just unzip in the same folder okay so once it is unzipped i will remove this particular uh, zip file using delete so here i can keep this folder directory structure or i can just create a little bit difference here so let's do one thing let's select all of these files uh, remember we don't need to select the readme.md file but uh, if you want to keep it keep it we don't need package.logjson also so public source git ignore and we don't need git ignore also and package.json right so click on here cut so let me uh, just click on the cut here I don't think so it's visible in the half screen so let me just okay so here you click on the cut and once you click on the cut uh, we can go back to the one yt dot in this folder right here react dot one yt dot in and click paste right here so we are successfully moving our files so once that is done what we will do we will just delete this particular folder because that's not needed uh, it's creating unnecessary confusion here. So let's delete this react master and we have everything ready. Now go back to the website section and click on the node project because we are going to use uh, host the react application, which is again the node project. So let's click on this node project and click on add project uh, in the path. Click on the folder and select the react.1yt.in. This is the path we need to select. Once it is selected, it will automatically detect a uh, run opt command to start react app. So as you can see, it is using start react command. Okay, great. Uh, the port of the project will be 5000. It's up to you which port you want to add. This is just for reverse proxy. Uh, then there is a, a node version you want to select. If you have multiple mm -hmm. node version, there will be drop down of the multiple node version. You just select from there. Okay. 
So once it is done, add the domain name here, react.1yt.in. I'm using subdomain to host my website, but you can use main domain also like 1yt.in. Okay. Well, everything is ready. Just click on the confirm and uh, it says the project name is uh, okay. So the project name has the dot in it. So I don't think so that's uh, allowed. So let me just refresh this page because I don't see any skip or cross option. So let's go one by one once again. Let's click on add project right here. Let's select the project which is react and set and then here we say react okay we don't add anything else in the detail uh, we add port as a 3000 i know we added the 3000 before 5000 before i will add any random port number 3001 then the project name is react and here we can paste our domain name which is react.1yt.in click on confirm and that should install all npm packages because this is a react project again and once that is done, it will uh, configure everything, the reverse proxy, everything. And then it will say the website has been hosted and then we can cross check it, right? So let's wait for some time resolving the packages. It might take a little bit long. And if you have a lot of uh, packages in your project, your project is a little bit bigger. Then in that case, it can take a little bit long time. Okay. So for me, I think it is taking, uh, little bit time so i'll just pause the video and then unpause again okay so as you can see right now this uh, installation process has been completed and i got this particular screen right here okay so ssl is not set up so let's click on the uh, ssl option right here i click sorry i clicked on this uh, yellow so once we click on this uh, we get the ssl click on the let's encrypt on the left select the domain click on apply because let's encrypt ssl is uh, quite uh, mm, free okay so let's click on the apply ssl and it will get ssl and it will list down the key and the certificate file then we can save it and we are ready to go okay so we have key and certificate file let's click on save and we are ready to go so now we can access our website. So let's click uh, on the react.1yt.in. So let's go here, react.1yt.in. And when we click enter, it says bad gateway. Uh, unexpected. So let's go back right here, click on the project. And uh, let's see, the project uh, port may be wrong. It is detected that a current project is listened to the port 3000 so let's go ahead let's add the project 3000 uh, this will only uh, put the error if your project has hard coded port number okay so let's click on the save and let's go back and refresh it and that should be it yeah it is uh, it is giving us the website right here it is loading a little bit slow i'm not sure my internet issue maybe but yeah we will have the react website ready in few seconds i'm not sure how long we need to wait for the website to load uh let's wait for some time sorry my internet is a little bit slow and once it is loaded we will end okay so i added it in the firefox and it's opened here i'm not sure what's wrong with my chrome but yeah in the firefox i added the website and it's open so yeah this is how you can uh, host the react application on a panel and if you have any questions just do let me know in the comments i will try to answer all questions uh, my best and yeah that's all about it and see you in the next